If E.T. made a cameo in Earth to Echo, that seriously would have been one of the best cameos ever. Yeah. Hello everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review Earth 2 Echo. Earth 2 Echo is directed by Dave Green. It stars Tio Helm, Astro, Reese Hartwig, and Ella... Uh, I forgot the last name, it's pretty long and I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have pronounced it right. Anyways, Earth 2 Echo is about these kids that are getting strange messages from their phone. They're really curious about what is giving them these messages. On their final adventure together, the kids go out on a search and they find this little tiny alien named Echo. And those messages came from Echo because he needs help to get his ship working so he could go back home. I'm going to be completely honest. The previews for this film just did not really interest me. I actually thought it looked stupid and I thought it was just gonna be a terrible movie. Earth 2 Echo is not actually terrible, but Earth 2 Echo, it's still not a good movie. It's not terrible, there are some things for me to enjoy about Earth 2 Echo. As a film overall, it is just very forgettable and really just nothing too special in my opinion. Positives with this film, I just gotta say right now, are the kids. The kids do a really good job. They feel like real human beings. They just had really good chemistry with one another. So the movie does do a good job of giving me the sense that these are real actual kids, but going on some adventure that, in reality, kids wouldn't really go on. <laughs> and it is found footage too, and for me, found footage for the most part, well, most found footage movies are actually horror films now, but... You know, most of them, they're not very good. My favorite found footage film to this day is still Chronicle. That's a film I felt like used found footage to its full potential. I just really love that film. But back to Earth 2 Echo. Yes, I really like the kids. And the Echo character himself, I do really enjoy. He was a cute little character. The bummer, though, is that Echo is surprisingly barely in this movie. And I'm not stressing when I say he's barely in the movie. He is not in here that much. Hell, I gotta say, Godzilla and the 2014 Godzilla film that came out earlier this year, I think Godzilla himself actually had more screen time than Echo in this film. The found footage stuff is a hit and miss for me. Some of the stuff looks really good, like... There's um, some scenes where Astro, the character, he has the camera on his bike and as they're riding the bike you're actually getting a point of view of the bike. Like it actually feels like you are riding on the bike yourself. That's one of my favorite shots of the film when they are on the bike. It just gives you that cool point of view. Some of the camera styles when they are filming are really nice. But other times while the film does look impressive in shots, there are some times where the cameras could tilt around and it could freeze and it really gets distracting. The storyline itself is, it's dull to me. I gotta be honest, this movie could get pretty boring for me, especially once it gets to like the second half. Like, the movie actually starts out really interesting, I'm gonna say that. As soon as the movie opens, I'm not gonna lie, there is a little bit of emotion that actually came out of me, like... I actually got teary-eyed in the beginning. After they found Echo, the movie itself, in terms of adventure, it really wasn't all that exciting to me, and I did find myself just pretty bored watching the movie. The thing about this film is that it feels too familiar with E.T. and Super 8. I know the director and the writer, the point was to pay homage to those films. Like, they wanted to pay homage to Super 8 and E.T. and the Goonies for that matter. But for me, it's really E.T. meets Super 8. Like, they both had a baby and made this film. <laughs> because of that, it really didn't feel like the movie stands on its own. Own. I could tell the movie does try to stand on its own, but when you see stuff that is too familiar with E.T. and Super A, it's just really hard to really just care for the movie in general. The film is predictable. I already know how it's gonna go. After they found Echo, I could already get an idea how the whole movie is going to play out. 
Um, I will be honest, the final 10 or 15 minutes was actually pretty good. It does kind of make up for the film being predictable, though, because I actually felt like something meaningful actually came out of the film. And the final 15 or 10 minutes, I did get a little teary-eyed because there is a great message at the ending of this film that actually did make me think. You know, it's about friends. Friends that come and go. Friends that stay with us till the end. And you know, the friends that you meet your whole lives, it's not going to be the same when you meet new people in the future. That message really did hit me. The government guy and all that other stuff, I really didn't care for. And like I said, it really is one of those elements that was ripped directly off from E.T. So overall, Earth to Echo is an okay movie. It had a good beginning, a good ending, with the message I found to be pretty thought-provoking, actually... Got me a little tear up, I'm not gonna lie. It had some cool found footage stuff, and it had others that was really distracting to me. Storyline wasn't all that great, but the actors who play the kids, really good. So, Earth to Echo, it's not memorable. I do see kids enjoying this, and I could see some parents enjoying this film as well. So, I'm going to give Earth to Echo 2 out of 4 stars. That was supposed to be the echo sound. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.